Anasazi are the ones that lived here before the Navajo and the Hopi. And they're the they're ones that made those. Yeah, we have some pictographs you know, like here. Descended from them? Some, but yeah, but uh, let me talk about the Anasazi okay. first and then I'll, I'll explain. Okay. But um, yeah, but uh, these are done by That's the. That's archaeological ancestors. term is the uh, basket maker period, a lot older than the advanced ancestral Pablian. So those are all the same people, the Anasazi. So the handprints are uh, signature. Uh, when I was raised in the canyon, I climbed them to a lot of the ruin sites and burial sites. So these burial sites and ruin sites, uh, the handprints are like a signature. It represents living quarters and burial sites. Uh, come over the canyon and the water, the snow mountain, the rain, uh, washes three types of elements over the canyon wall to make those black streaks. Magnesium oxide, uh -huh. iron oxide makes the sandstone a darker redder color and the uh, magnesium oxide makes black. it the black and the brown color. So you said and the cobalt, okay. the cobalt, then these are Hopi clan symbols on the side. The uh, three chain links represents the diamondback rattlesnake clan. The faint four leaf clovers, the coyote paw. So those are some of the uh, clan symbols that were etched in during the 1400s. Uh, 1350s uh, the approximate time that the Anasazi people. Anastasi ruins. Summer home. There are about 64 families living in this canyon in the summertime. No water, no electricity. A young Navajo woman crawling out of quicksand. I have trouble with the English. <laughs> I would not do well. But they're all the same. You don't distinguish. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, uh, periods. They call them uh, uh, enemy ancestor because of the things that they did. The beliefs that they had were really different than the Navajo beliefs. Uh, they buried their dead in their homes, and Navajo you were don't. against them. Yeah. So we don't do that, so yeah. fact, the reason why we call them enemy ancestors because of that. I heard that if somebody dies in a structure, uh, the structure it's abandoned. Uh -huh. It's cursed. And uh, no, it's not cursed, but it's abandoned, and well, you don't re you don't want to reoccupy that structure. You no, know, just cursed, like you said, being cursed. Yeah. Yeah, not cursed like darn, darn, um, darn. Yeah. But cursed like bad spirits. Yeah, bad spirits. Yeah. Uh, Tony Hillman. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. He's a writer. I, re I, don't I recommend all of Tony Hillman's books because he's pretty active.
<laughs> Fred? Yes? Your camera is okay. Okay, good. <laughs> So that's where James Stevenson found a naturally mummified mummy. And what he found with the mummy was uh, parrot feathers and feathers of the macaw and the whole skeletal structure to the birds. So these birds were actually uh, uh, relay traded all the way from South America while they were still living. And it was kind of like an incentive. Whoever was... So that's what I call the balcony garden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they call this area the uh, Echo. Echo Cave Site 1 and Site 2. Yeah. Because the echoes. Echo. Uh, one of my uh, visitors I did a tour with and they wrote about me on TripAdvisor. Oh, good. And the, the thing that they, uh, it's kind of like they exaggerated, but they said, oh, uh, in Canyon de Shea, there's a, there's a place called the Echo Canyon or Echo Canyon, they said, on the internet. Okay. Do you use it for the uh, uh, waterproof food. in your basket? No, food. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, Growing food. right out of the sandstone. The new waterproofers this is an are Echo Canyon. You can get it at Aces. Yeah, much better. <laughs> yeah. Much. <laughs> they don't stick so much to your uh -huh, hands yeah. when you put it on. Yeah. We are right here. And the big cave up there at the top. That's the quarry. The core is where they the got the cave out. directly on top of the site. Yeah. That's the quarry where they carved the sandstone into bricks. Then tied them to yucca ropes and then came up to the edge and lower it down. They come in and out every day? Where do they go in and out from? The summer homes are down in the canyon. No, I mean the, the, the winter homes are out there on the top. So they had to come down to check on their sheep every day oh. and the cornfield too. Oh, I thought I thought you meant the sheep. It's a storage shed. Uh, no, the sheep stay, stay down here, here year round. An alternative to a Jeep tour is a Navajo guided trail ride.